Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Skill Forum. So after long back, I am bringing this video in front of you, those who are studying or those who are learning AWS and DevOps. So many of the students are getting difficulty to open AWS account without ATM card that should be having Visa or MasterCard. Okay, so most of the students are having Rupee card. So in this video, I am going to show you how to open virtual debit card with MasterCard. Okay, so for that you need to use Airtel Thanks app. In that you can open your savings bank account virtually, and as well as you can get a virtual debit card with MasterCard. Okay, using that you can easily open AWS account. Okay, so first I will show you how to open virtual savings bank account as well as how to get virtual debit card okay let's start well now i am going to show you how to open your virtual savings bank account as well as how to get virtual debit card so that you can use that debit card to open aws account okay let's start so first of all you have to install your uh, airtel thanks app go to play store so once you go to play store find the airtel thanks okay so in my mobile already i have installed it so i'll just open this so open the app and give number whichever number you want to give you can you just give it okay so it's not mandatory that you should have to use uh, airtel number okay so I'll, i'm just giving my number and click on send otp okay you will get otp to that particular number so give the OTP so that it will open your Airtel app. Okay. So here you just skip and here also you just skip. So next what you need to do is so you need to open your account. Okay. So already the Airtel registered. So here you just go down and update your wallet. So you'll get one option called uh, up, wa get wallet. So go down. So here you have. Okay. So in this wallet you just click on this get started. Okay. So here it will ask you your personal details. So here I am giving my PAN card details. So whatever the name you have in PAN card you just enter it. So give the date of birth. And give OK. So next just select the ID proof. Here I have given PAN card. And give the PAN card number. So once you give the details, you need to set MPIN number. So here I am giving my own MPIN number, whichever the uh, MPIN number you have to give, you can give. Okay. So done. I have given MPIN number. Then you will get again OTP. So enter the OTP number which you have got. So here I have not yet received. So you will get the OTP, so enter your OTP, so you just confirm it, okay, it will register. Go back again, go back to Airtel app, so here you will get an option called wallet, okay, here we have 0 rupees in our wallet, so what you need to do is to register to open AWS account. So the two rupee amount will be deducted from your account. So for that reason, I am adding money to my wallet. Okay. So just click on add money. So here I am just adding five rupee for this. So you can give any amount. So if you have, if you are using PhonePay or Google Pay, you just use that. 
so that the amount will be added to your Airtel wallet. So just pay from your Google Pay or Phone Pay. amount has been added successfully to my wallet so go back to the airtel app okay so click on this see now you can check your wallet has been updated to 4 rupees so go to your account See now if you go to your account icon here you will get on bank profile click on this bank profile now see the amount of 4 rupee has been added now what you have to do you need to come down see here in the banking services you have a debit card click on this debit card and click your m pin number so once you click on m pin see you will get virtual debit card here See, you have got all the details of uh, virtual debit card. So, this virtual debit card is a MasterCard. So, you, you can use these credentials to open your AWS account. Okay, hope you have understood how to open virtual debit card. And so that you can use this uh, to open AWS mm -hmm. account. Next, I will show you how to open AWS account using this debit card. So once you get a virtual debit card, what you need to do is you need to go to Google and search for AWS. Okay, I'll just find out the AWS account. Okay, so just go to AWS account. So here you need to select this first link account Amazon AWS. So once you open this, so it will open. So using the virtual debit card details you can easily open AWS account so here okay so once you get this here you can go to my account or else you can ju just directly go to sign into console okay so once you go to sign into console so you have to click on the register or create account so here if you come down here you have create a new aws account so click on this so click on create a new aws account yeah so here you have to give your root user email address okay so here i will give my email address so i am giving my company mail id okay then uh, i am going to give name it as apex okay so apex is our uh, company where we are going to provide uh, training and placements for all graduates okay so you can contact we have provided a contact uh, details in the description you can directly contact from there itself to us if you want any assistance in the training as well as in the placements okay so you need to verify the email address here so click on the verify email address so you will get a verification mail in your account okay so just check your verification mail so i am checking in my mobile so i have got so just click on click the verification id or verification code click to verify Okay. Once you verify this, you need to provide the password. So keep in your mind while giving the root user password, you can give first name, number, then again any name. Okay, here I am giving you. So click on continue. So here you are getting some error okay so what I will do you can give on caps okay 
then here you can give just create password so here it is showing okay yeah so i will just note down my password okay just click on continue so once you click on continue it will ask whether you need to save or not i will just give no thanks okay so here you need to uh, give some contact information that so you are using it for business purpose or personal so i will just select personal for students uh, for uh, trainees and all you just select the personal okay so full name you have to give so i have entered all the details here you you have to give the contact number so here i will give india and you can give any contact number okay so here you just select region or country india okay fine so next go down and click on this agreement uh, button and then click on continue so here we are getting some issue so just i have given so many texts so click on continue okay so once you click on continue it will go to the billing page so here you need to give your virtual debit card details okay so i will just open virtual debit card details from my mobile okay okay then you have to give expiry date so here you can give and card holder name i'll give okay then you can verify with your cvv number fine so i have entered every, carefully you have to enter the details so do you have a pan you just click on no or else it will ask the pan details also i'll just click on verify and continue okay so it is verifying once it has been verified the account will be created successfully still it is loading so it will take a few seconds to create so one thing you just keep in your mind so once you create a aws account the 2 rupee of amount will be deducted from your account okay and it may be refunded uh, back to your account okay so you will get the details sorry you will get a otp to deduct an amount okay so what you need to do is you need to check so here you just submit it oh sorry so just delete see here otp has been sent so we need to check here otp here so just click on submit so once you give otp the aws account is confirming the payment uh, with your bank
so it will take a few seconds to create an account as well as the amount of 2 rupees will be deducted from your account ok so again see here it will ask for verification code ok for that you need to give your contact number ok I will select the India then you need to provide your contact number so once you have done with this you have to give this captcha for verification and click on send sms so once you click on send sms you will get a otp to your number whichever you have given so you, i have received otp so once you verify this click on continue so this will be the last step for creating your aws account so here it will ask you whether you want to create a basic uh, support for free for practice as well as for training purpose if you are a developer you can select this if you are a, if you are if you have your own company you can select this so as of now for training purpose i am selecting the basic support and click on complete sign up so once you click on complete sign up the aws account will be created see here we have created a aws account without debit card okay so we have a virtual debit card so you can easily create your virtual debit card from uh, Airtel Thanks app. What I will do, I will just click on this uh, go to AWS console. So we will check whether the account has been successfully created or not. Hopefully it has been created. So I am just checking it. Go to sign in to console. So I am just checking the signing process. So once you click on this sign in. So here you need to select the root user and give your mail id. So here I have given mail id as my company mail id. Click on next then you have to enter the password. Click on submit sign in sorry so click on never see here we have our aws account so using this you can easily practice okay if you are taking a training from anywhere so if you want aws and devops training from our company you just contact uh, we have mentioned our contact details in the description okay so we provide both online and offline classes okay if you want offline classes you need to visit our uh, institute that is located in tumkur karnataka so if you want online training we do provide online training okay so if you are interested you can contact so hopefully you have enjoyed this video thank you bye bye